Hello and welcome to Creative Change Workshops. My name is Hannah Aria and we are on week six. Today we are going to be looking at the creations made after our monoprinting tutorial, which was delivered by Tower Street Print. Um, right, let's have a little look. So we've got Andy Warhol was our inspiration behind this. We were looking at the old Campbell soup cans and the, the concept around food banks, just to give you a bit of an idea if you've missed that. And if you're new to watching our live stream, basically what we do is we will release a pre-recorded art tutorial every week. And then on a Friday, once people have had a chance to do it, we do a great big show and tell celebration. And every week I dress up in something different. So I usually have a different wig on. This week I have got my attempt at a Game of Thrones Khaleesi look as we are celebrating one year of herd community which was a project we did last year making milk bottle elephants and I was Hannah Aria first of her name mother of elephants so that explains that and if you're still confused don't worry you can watch the videos to catch up on YouTube <laughs> it will explain it all it is also Face Paint Friday. So this week I have got, you can see, I've got a little ink press, pro, ink press roller because we're doing printing today. And I've got a little elephant. And anyone who joins the live stream with their face paints on gets a free pen, a beautiful purple pen. So get involved. And if you fancy joining in with Face Paint Friday, let us know and join us next week for the show and tell session. Now we're going to get moving. So who have we got first? Do, do, do. I think, is it, oh, we're going to quickly look, get Naz on. We're having a bit of a catch up because Naz has completed her project from the week before, which is on the theme of home comforts. So let's have a quick look. Hi, Naz. Welcome to the Hi. live. <laughs> Thank you. Camp. Can we get a close up of Naz's face? Is that possible, Jasmine, the magical fairy? Sorry. <laughs> we need to have a tour of the face first. <laughs> well, wow. there's no place at like home, is there? So it's a Dorothy oh, button. I love that. That is perfect. <laughs> my nose to the yellow brick road. <laughs> that is amazing. And I used to own a pair of ruby slippers that used to I walk. I wondered when, about that. Yeah. <laughs> When, when I walked, little LEDs made them light up. They were amazing. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that. That's a great idea. Perfect. So you, you're going to be an avid pen collector, I feel, aren't you now? <laughs> yes, I think so. If you're in Why not? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, yes, tell us about your art. Well, I, I, I'm really, really missing my hugs. So I felt that the hand was a really good symbol for that. I'm reaching out, but my hands are tied with purple ribbon. Oh. Um, so that's where that idea came from. And then I got thinking about the affirmation boxes that were made in the first round, weren't they? Jane was mm -hmm. teaching us how to make those. Um, and I thought, well, you kind of feel as if you're living in a box at the moment in your own place and you can't really go that far. So um, inside the boxes, I've got the things that are keeping me busy at the moment. I've got some jigsaws that um, Nikki's kindly lent me quite a few jigsaws. So thank you, Nikki. Um, I've got my music. I'd be lost without my music. Um, oh, there's a little bit of a teaser there because there's a bit of zen tangling in that one. Oh, uh, yeah. Coming up soon. Not long. <laughs> um, there's oh, it's a couple of postcards. Now, I probably have to point out who they're to because they're so tiny. But there's one that is addressed to Jaden and one addressed to Sophie inside Aww. there. She gets uh, so excited when she gets post. <laughs> oh, that's my poetry. Yeah, my poetry sort of tucked in at the end as well. Yeah. So oh, the, and the crosswords, I love doing crosswords. So had to have crosswords on them as well. Yeah, because last week we hadn't got any information with it. And we were kind of like trying to interpret or decode without any of your insight. So it has definitely been very helpful having you on to actually fully explain, <laughs> explain it. But how did you actually make the hands? Because I was also trying to work out how is it paper mache? Is it rubber gloves? Okay. Like, how did you do it? Let you into the mystery. I yeah. got rubber glove and I stuffed it with um, scrunched up paper. 
and and then I paper mache over it. So I got that's how I got the shape. Mm. Yeah, that is you wouldn't know that it's it's so neat, isn't it? It's brilliant. Oh, I'm glad you think it's neat. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay. And um, have you have you thought about the challenge of the the ink printing yet? I know it's a bit daunting no, this next one, isn't it? I haven't got around to that yet. So I'm going to look with interest at what other people have got up to this week. Well, I thought, silly old me, thought that it would be super easy. I was like, oh, yeah, you just get a roller and you just print and you just do your little bits. That looks, I mean, Al made it look so easy in the tutorial, didn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I, I made such a mess. I really did. <laughs> so, in fact, I might show you some of my mess. Can, can, oh, we, keep please, Nat, please can we keep Naz on and maybe show some of my horrific <laughs> epic fails, please? <laughs> <laughs> and Oliver's joined us. Yes, if you are watching, please type in the chat box and we would love to know that you're here and with us. And we've got lots of the comments just coming up on the bottom here, which is wonderful. So, can, can Jasmine magic my horrific artwork? Today. I haven't got my wand with me today, actually. <laughs> I usually have a silly wand with, that makes really cool Hannah, fairy noises. Your, Hannah, where is your artwork? Um, Oliver, where is my artwork? <laughs> oh, there it is. Is this it? Is this you? Here is it this... is. Yes, oh, this is my oh. epic fail. This is to show you that I gave it a go, and I had never done mono printing in my life. I had a lot of fun. Is that I made a, a lot of mess. Color there? So that... yeah, I thought it'd be like really fancy and tr <laughs> instead of starting with the basics, I thought I'd go. I was like, oh, I could make like a golden can, like fuel of life and I, I had in my head yeah. it was going to be beautiful but this is my reality <laughs> so what I've learned from this experience is that printing is a fine art and that I need to sign up for one of the courses at Tower Street, <laughs> Tower Street Print so on the plus side I've tried something new and I've I've got a much deeper appreciation of the skill involved in printing <laughs> Really interested, though. No, you do, do yourself down, Hannah. I can see, see it's lovely. But, but yeah, it was it was good fun. But it was yeah, it was very messy. I recommend if if it's a nice sunny day, do it outside. Because yeah. even when I was then washing up the whole of my sink bowl, and look, you can see I, I had the on the washing <laughs> stand outside by my gate. Um, but yeah, it it was very messy, but brilliantly fun. And I think Tower Street are actually holding an open call print exhibition at the moment. And that will be held at Dance East. So hopefully in a few weeks, we'll all be able to wander on down and have a look around their print exhibition, which will be oh, amazing. Let's hope. That'd be lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK, well, thank you very much, Naz. Wonderful to have you back with us. And I love, I mean, you were going to be on a winner when it was beautiful shoes, really. You knew that was a good choice, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. But yeah. Love it. Thank okay. you so much. And okay, we'll see you next week. Bye for now. <laughs> Fabulous. And next we have the lovely Charlotte. Charlotte has been here every single week. Oh, is it oh, Charlotte? I'm to get my hat to work. It's not it's, working. It's it's Charlotte plus one. I see <laughs> I, I see a rainbow wig amongst us. Oh, how brilliant is that? That is epic. Where on earth did you get that hat from? I can't remember now. But um, this is Leon with his rainbow wig. And Leon, I love it. Advertising Homestart. Yay! We we love <laughs> Homestart. Homestart are absolute angels, literally. Um, we, yeah, we've got Homestart in Suffolk and we, we, we big them up. Yeah, I talk them. to them quite a lot. They're really active as well. Yeah, it's oh, great. Oh, great. Fabulous. So um, do you want... Do you want to bring in your lurker? Because I kind of feel like he's half on the screen and half not. I think we need a proper proper look. What <laughs> is that shirt? Where did you get that shirt from? <laughs> that yeah, is incredible. Neon Leon Facebook. Yeah, love <laughs> neon colours. That is a shirt and a half. I feel like the shirt <laughs> belongs in the Tate Modern, just purely on its own. It's genius. And I love that you're coordinating too. Yeah. I, I, how did you guys meet? Or should I not ask that? It's a bit 
He personal. bought some of my Christmas cards, my my Gold Hill design, and we've been Ooh. friends. And then we got talking recently. Um, oh. Well, I'm just looking at Leon. I'm thinking it must have been a love at first sight encounter. To be honest. <laughs> He's got lots of wigs, lots of different wigs. It's like me, like once met, never forgotten. Kind of <laughs> is that is that about accurate? Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> Dream team. Love it. Brilliant. So let's move on to your artwork before I start waffling on about all sorts. <laughs> Jasmine, the magical fairy. Are you ready to wave your wand? Oh, Charles is here. Hi, Charles. Great to meet you <laughs> again. I met Charles virtually at a networking meeting the other day, and I've now persuaded him that he, we're actually going to interview him for our next social justice video. So. Yes, welcome. Brilliant. Great that you can join us. So, yes, Charlotte, tell us about this. This is perfect. So much you saw my first attempts. How did you get it like this? This is brilliant. I don't know how I did it in the end. <laughs> I found it really hard to write back to front and yeah. get my head around it. Um, the logo is easy because it's all the same, whatever way round. And um, the shadow was supposed to be on the right. <laughs> But I enjoyed it. It was great because I, I obviously I work for a charity, so I wanted to do something that was looking like a charity logo. And food, shelter, and hope were the favourite words I wanted to use. Yeah, that was a really good project. Really good. And you'd never done printing before either, had you? No, I'd never done mono printing. My um, older artist that I used to get advice from, Bob, he kept telling me to do lino printing, and I'd never done that either. And I just put it aside. But once this challenge came, I just thought I've got to have a go. And uh, I think I'll do more of it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Um, my favourite bit is the bit at the top. I love how yes. you on the ring pool and everything. That is just what it's just so effective that, you know, it really adds. I just use a realistic. pencil, you know, like the guy did on the video. I just, I just use yeah. a pencil. That's all. Yeah. Perfect. Have we got any cheerleading comments, people? Mandy is in the building. Hello, Mandy. Sally. Oh, Lovely there we to are. see There's you. The other yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. That's oh, my larger brilliant. logo, on, you know, separately, which I enjoyed. I did that first. And then I did do a lino print because I've managed to get a kit, which is a really oh, tasty cool. kit. And I did cut myself, uh, which made Sam laugh. <laughs> um, but that's my house in the green. And I had to get my head around oh, it because wow. I'm in a semi-detached and you have to do it the wrong way around. And that took some time, but I was really pleased with the result. Um, that is incredible. Because um, <laughs> the guys that did the tutorial actually do like lessons in lino cutting and printing as well. Yeah. And, like this is really high level skill. Like <laughs> I'm, I can't believe you've only just given it a go this week. It's incredible. <laughs> I took a photo wow. out the front and then just sketched it on on the actual pad with pencil and had to remember to do it the wrong way around and then I yeah. had to dig it out but it was very therapeutic digging out the uh, rubber of the yeah. stamp and you can use it again that's what's great about lino print you and sometimes sometimes I think that the lino is actually like it to me that is art as well like I almost would want to frame the lino because it's almost like a yeah. three-dimensional textured sculpture isn't it and it feels great when you put your hands over it. Yeah. Texture's and great. So thank you. Oh. You've opened my eyes on this one, definitely. It's oh, been great. Good. Caroline says, lino print is amazing. It, yeah, I've never tried that either. I think I do need to sign up. I need to, because it's strange. You go to you go to university or you go to do art things, but we, we're drawn to things that we want to specialise in, and then we don't necessarily get the whole experience of all different yeah. mediums. So I've never really done it before. But thank you so much. And I'm loving the outfits. And now I feel like you might have to bring your guests more regularly with a with a, a various it. range of epic shirts. No pressure, but <laughs> pressure. I don't know what you can do after that shirt. Like, you can't really up your game, can you? Oh, we can. <laughs> is, that, is that a challenge? <laughs> awesome. Sally says that's a really good print. It's not easy at all. It's really tricky, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but have a go. I've, anyone yeah. have a go. It's brilliant. I can't wait to see the other people's work in a minute. I'm really looking forward to that. 
Oh, great. Well, thank you again. And um, hopefully we'll see you next week. Yeah. Say bye for now. And who have we got? Oh, we've got twin sister, Sam. Hello. Hello, Sam. Oh, and you've got your face paint game. I love it. Jasmine, the magical fairy, are you <laughs> able to do a close up of Sam, please? Okay. Wonderful. So I tried to do a bumblebee, but my sister's a lot better at drawing those. She's done quite oh, a bit. Oh, it's well cute. And a seahorse. Oh, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And so, what, why did you choose those particular ones? Are they ones that you just like? really like um, or i love um animals sea life because i did a degree in marine biology so i've got interest <sighs> there and bumblebees are just amazing aren't they really do you know when I, I when Free Willy came out and all of those films back in yeah. the 90s, everyone on earth wanted to be a marine biologist, didn't they? <laughs> and like, you know, Splash the Mermaid, it was a real thing. It was like life goal central. And I love dolphins. Dolphins are my favourite yes. animal. So yeah. that is a very cool fact to know. Yeah. So, so I'm just trying to think like I Next week, maybe we should have like a fact of the week from our in-house marine biolo biologist <laughs> or something. I forgot a lot of it, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll try. No, that's wonderful. Thank you. Right, we're ready to see your work now. I mean, I feel like I need a drum roll sound effect or something. <laughs> Fabulous. Can you tell us about this? Yeah, I had to go outside because I was worried about the ink going everywhere. But in the end, it was quite quite tidy and I had a big mirror to put the ink on and rolled it out and then put the paper on. I had to blot it quite a few times yeah. and the design is based on a local logo for food banks and the anxiety is going through to hope that's added on by me. I wanted to add on despair and courage but I thought oh no chance of me getting that on there as well but I think they're appropriate words. It might have overcrowded it a bit as well I think. And the corn, to, uh, the corn or wheat on the right, sorry, the wheat is quite easy to draw either way round. So I drew that one. And I was a bit, I was a bit worried about it. I thought a bit under pressure, but I, I worked quite well under pressure. I think. <laughs> I think that is amazing. Like you did way better than me. Sam. <laughs> it is absolutely brilliant, and I love the shadowing underneath the can as well. And sort of, is it is yeah. it a potato next to it? It's, it's yeah. really yeah. effective, really effective. I used and, a pencil, yeah, and my finger as well. The finger, you had to press quite hard to get it to go. I think the ink was drying out as I was doing it, which made it a bit easier to check as you were going along and then put it back down. Oh, yeah. awesome. And I don't know if many of you noticed, but on the actual tutorial, there was a link at the end to a little SoundCloud clip, um, oh. which... Some of you probably didn't actually notice, but I was actually on the radio locally. Yeah. Um, probably was it November time when I actually had to use a food bank myself and my kids were actually on free mm -hmm. school dinners. And it, I was talking about the feeling of like shame that you can have because like I work really hard, but yeah. my my income generation isn't necessarily consistent. And so if you if you get chance and you want to go and have a little mm. look back, you can see the link and listen to it. Yeah. But it's really strange, like sort of looking back to where I was, because it's only a few months ago, you know. And then yeah. since then, you know, we've got funding for this project and I'm all right at the moment, you know. Um, yeah, but it really, I just, yeah, but I really just wanted to kind of yeah. break down the stigma that this can happen to anyone, you know, mm. and we all need help sometimes. So, yeah, yeah. so I, I've got quite involved in this project but yeah. these images re I really really connect with so thank you oh thank you <laughs> there are okay. um, community fridges as well in Essex I think at the moment and uh, I think oh. they might bring them down to our area it would be a really good idea that sounds like a great idea yeah. Um, and we've got lots of lovely comments oh, coming up. People liking are. your face paints. <laughs> <laughs> Good old face paint Friday. Yeah. Caroline says your work is wonderful, so effective. It oh, right. you can tell you really put a lot of care into this, a really like and a lot of thought. And it's 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 a powerful a image, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of art is the planning. People don't think that you need to plan with art, you just do it. But I think a lot of it is getting an idea down on paper first and then 
doing it yeah because we I guess we all work in different ways really don't mm. I'm I think my brain works in a totally the opposite way and I'm mo- <laughs> mostly I make things up as I go along but it's sometimes a total disaster so maybe you know try different approaches and some yeah. other people better don't they but this is really considered and the outcome is is brilliant so oh, thank you very much and Sally says the design is really pretty it kind of reminds me a little bit about the Harvest Festival, I think because of the corn, yeah. you know, that sort of symbolism of it. Stunning. Okay, well, thanks for joining yeah. us and we will see you again next week, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, great. Bye thanks. for now. <laughs> and who's up next? Nikki and Pete. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Oh apologies i need to try and train myself out of saying guys okay i need to be gender neutral hello folks hello humans hello beautiful beings okay and you can pull me up on it because i need to train myself out okay (laughs) anyway let's have a look at your wonderful creations (gasps) wow okay so mine's the one on the left hand side um, and it's based on uh, a, a well-known brand of baked beans. Uh, I, I roughly um, followed the design um, of, uh, of that uh, brand of baked beans. Um, I drew the original label uh, with a drawing package on a computer. Um, I then loaded the drawing into some 3D animation software to wrap the, the label around the can and get the right curvature. Um, I then printed it out um, and then after that it was following the process that was demonstrated on the video. I um, had my piece of paper. Oh, the animation software always flips the image. It always comes out backwards. So you always usually have to remember to reverse uh, reverse the image so it's the right way round, which I did. And then I printed it and I thought, oh, yeah, I didn't need to do that. I need to go back and (laughs) Um, but then after that, yeah, it was it was the basic process of printing, and I, I just had my um, uh, design um, on one sheet of paper um, and the sheet of paper to be printed underneath, and then drew around with the biro to uh, transfer the image. Um, and it's basically a play on words: um, help, you can, we can, I can. I and love it. it. And it's ingenious. I love the fact that you've you've combined it with a bit of computer design software stuff. So you've got like the mediums of the very sort of tactile art stuff, but all fabulous. I, you know, I think I, you sh- maybe you should submit this one to um, the Dance East thing. I think. Just, oh well, we might have missed the deadline. Actually, I think the deadline was yesterday. Annoyingly, but these are brilliant, and I think especially things that have a message um tower street print often run workshops with the dwp and a lot of the work that they produce actually is very activist like or very political and um, based on the experience of, of the people involved and i've seen some fantastic designs they've come up with great comments and design says sam and yeah, I like the fact that you've got the the iconic brand as well that we we shall not name, but we all know what it is. <laughs> but it's it's just it's amazing. I think you know Andy Warhol might have be having a bit of running for his money, or his well, <laughs> his foundation, should I say, <laughs> the copyrights of his foundation. They would be all over this. It's brilliant. And then buy one, give one away. Love that yeah. idea. That was mine um, because quite often when I was shopping, if I saw like a buy one, give one, uh, get one free or a, a buy um, free for the price of two, I'd always sort of think whether I needed the extra one or not, I'd sort of pick it up, or, you know, and then that was for the food bank and it's a good way of doing it, you know, and sort of pop That's it an amazing, my- that's such a simple idea, but I've never heard anyone suggest it. That is so practical and like anyone could do it because you're saving the money anyway aren't you exactly. genius you've got what you wanted and you've also got something for somebody else and it it really sort of can work quite well like that yes excellent oh hi abeam my friend abeam's here as well i've been promoting her book left right and center as well so we'll put, we'll put a link in our group all all of you can go out and buy abeam's book it's amazing 
Um, and yeah, and I'd love this. I think this is a challenge, actually. Should we, should we have a group challenge? The next buy one, get one free offer that we see and want to buy, I challenge you to give one of them to a food bank or give it away to someone in need. I think that's a great thing to take away from this week, actually. Um, to me, it was just so simple. All right, okay, yeah, two of those, right? <laughs> you know, one back. Yeah, absolutely. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I know Prince... Um, print you've done quite a lot of printing haven't you Pete I feel like out of the group you're our printing expert but you might not feel <laughs> that's yeah. accurate some other um art, art workshops I've done that other art therapy workshops have done printing as one of their activities so I've done lino printing once and silk screen printing uh which is the thing I was able to help with a key place when we were um screen printing t-shirts uh, so no i'm not an expert but i have been shown uh, how to do it by experts oh, and, but i did okay. still insist that we did it outside and we set up a pasting table <laughs> good plan good plan because yeah it's it's i don't know how sam managed to keep it so tidy but i was a right state <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't rain when we were doing it. Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> so, as Sally says, love the sentiment in your work, Pete. Yeah, you. it's really inspirational. Fabulous, fabulous. Okay, well, thank you very much. And we will see you next week, hopefully. Onwards, we move to the lovely Caroline. Okay. And then Beam lights the buy one, give one away. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hi, Caroline. Great to have you with us again. Nice to be here. Thank you. And I love that you. we always have one person in the group who goes a little off piece and finds something totally like unique yeah, in a way to kind of do it. And, and I love it. So, so let's have a look at Caroline's work. Jasmine, the magical fairy. Awesome. So yeah, go for it, Caroline. Okay, well, I tried to have a go doing the things that we were supposed to do, but I didn't have any printing ink. And I tried acrylics and it just wasn't working for me. I was just making a big mess. So then I've been watching a guy on YouTube called Dan Tyrrell. And what he actually does is his version of mono printing which is getting um, it's sort of recycling plastic bags. So you cut them up and then you put paint on them. Then you actually place the paint side on your paper and you mark make basically. So um, what I did was I just picked various colors, just slap the paint on and just use cotton buds, cocktail sticks, um, anything anything really um just just to make some marks and use my fingers and just i had so much fun i got so dirty i was paint everywhere <laughs> but um i just really got in the zone and yeah that was acrylics and then i thought hmm think i'll have a go with oils cuz luckily the works is oh. open now so my next two bits were um using oils and the same technique was it um i don't know if you've got the picture of the the other two that i did so there's three of them up on the screen at the moment is it oh here's yeah. the other ah here they are lovely okay so the the one that um looks like a really strange lady um i think i overdid it with the oils and then i thought okay how can i rescue this and there was some i got a charcoal pencil actually strangely a white one um, to, to try and draw whatever I could see, but the white actually came out black. So um, mm. I just thought, yeah, what can I say? I could see the lady and there's like underneath her, there's this face as well. It all looks a bit weird, but I just drew what I could see. And then on the next one, it kind of looks a bit like a rabbit. And yeah, I see that. I just used a bit less paint and more kind of mark making, but I just really, really enjoyed it. 
I know it wasn't what we were supposed to do, but I just got in the zone and loved it. I think they're amazing, especially I really the lady one reminds me of sort of Picasso s kind of and style. I had, help. I had help from this little Ooh, one, even better. <laughs> oh, Jasmine, are we able to do a close up of the doggy? <laughs> Do you want to introduce us, Caroline? Okay. This is <laughs> such a small dog. This is Zeus. Wow. And, <laughs> and I've, had him for about, I've had him for about 12 days. And he's just he's just sleeping on my lap at the moment. He's just so sweet. <laughs> but he's not used to humans or cars. So it's a it, it's a bit of a, a strange world for him at the moment. Oh, is he yeah. a puppy then? Is he? Is he? No, new? he's tiny, but he's actually nearly two. Ah. But his um, his older brothers were picking on him because he's so small. So my friend said, "Would I like a dog?" And I went, <laughs> "Please." <laughs> <laughs> All right then, if you insist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that is lovely. Oh, Charles is um a very experienced artist. He is actually going to do some oh. big installation things in London he's very impressed he says they look oh gorgeous. thank you Charles yeah yeah um, I okay. love it can we thank go you. back to to Caroline's last two pictures please just because I'm gonna have a little look at them again multimedia there yeah they're so totally different but I love the fact that you were just experimenting you got in the flow and just produced something quite magical and organic so yeah. There, there was no planning, unfortunately. It was. Just I like that, though. I do. I like it. It. <laughs> oh, it's, and the colours are so vibrant. Do you know? I would never think to do oil paints in that way because, well, oil paints take forever to dry, don't they? Like, yes. they're such gorgeous, vivid colours, but they're really difficult if you paint lots of paintings to know where enough to like dry them and keep them for a few weeks, aren't they? Well, I found the acrylic was a bit... See this kind of like seemed, all these new techniques, you know. They they seemed a bit brighter than the oil paints. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's, there's something really like unique about the texture of them, I think. Like acrylics are good because they dry quickly. But, mm -hmm. you know, there is something really stunning about oil paints, I think. So. I did get very, very messy. <laughs> oh, when that oil paints are even worse to try and clean off, aren't they? <laughs> but worth it in the name of art. It's absolutely yeah. worth it. Yes. Sally says, interesting method of printing, Caroline. Looks like stormy weather. Love the figure prints. So we've got lots of people appreciating these. And hopefully this will give people ideas as well. So, you know, maybe they can try this stuff out too. Yeah, sure. Wonderful. So thank, thank you very you. much, Caroline, and hopefully we'll you. see you again soon. So bye for now. And next up, we have Liz. So Liz is going to be what? Oh, sorry. Can we go back to Mandy? I, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> so we're going to show Mandy's work, but she's not on the live. But we beautiful face paint Mandy um, is a little bit tired tonight because she's been working hard all week. So we've let her have the night off um, from Face Paint Friday, but we still wanted to show this. Look how amazing these are. When life is just a bowl of cherries, and she's done these little tiny cherry prints. And they look like lino cut to me as well. Maybe they are. I'm not 100% not sure. And can we have a look at the next one, please, Jasmine? Birds. Oh, I've got to tell you about Jasmine and her birds now. Jasmine, can we listen to you? <laughs> Jasmine sat right next to her window and I could hear birds singing. Okay. Like, they were like cute birds. It's, this is where they've all gone to sleep now. Just as <laughs> I was talking to her earlier and it was like having a conversation with Snow White and like I was just ima imagining these little bluebirds floating around her head. And they've all gone quiet, haven't they? I think I can hear them. Oh, hang on. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. I mean, I'm holding that was my worth laptop, it. I'm holding my laptop out the window. I mean, what a crazy <laughs> Friday night, huh? <laughs> That's how we roll. That's how we roll. I feel that was worth it, though, 100%. <laughs> 
So we can all picture Jasmine with her bluebirds floating around her head as well. Um, and look at these. I, yes, I think this must be lino cut looking at the picture over here. Um, look at those skills. Now, um, Mandy has actually attended um, Tower Street's print project for a taster day so they actually taught her how to do it as well so she's got a bit of an extra ahead of the game compared to most of us but absolutely stunning work and it's just great that you can once you've got that lino print you can print again and again in different colors on different materials but beautiful work and um, you're going to be hearing from Mandy in our next social justice video and there's a real sense of freedom and birds being a symbol of like flight and freedom um which kind of just goes along with her as a person so wonderful next up we're going to look at liz's work liz joined us a couple of weeks ago i think she hasn't been on the live yet um she's been struggling with a few health issues um but i'm just going to read out a little bit from her email so it says, Liz Hood here. Oh, we'll get her. Can we get her work up, please, Jasmine? Should be coming. Here we go. For the theme Home Comfort, so she was working on the basis of the theme from the week before, but she didn't have any FIMO that week. So she's, she's done the printing, but with that theme, which is cool. For the theme Home Comfort, the two main items that give me the most comfort is an old latte or mostly my bed. Being a wheelchair user, I sit most of the time as walking causes me a great deal of pain in my lower back. So my bed allows me to lie, com lie comfortably. The latte is a bit of a decadence. I got my Dolce Gusto um, a long time ago to indulge and have those special moments sometimes if I feel like it. So again, if this is the first time you've ever done printing, this is incredible. Um, Liz also said that it was quite messy and it looked very simple when the tutorials were done. But the reality is definitely a lot more challenging. So I can relate to that totally. And you all know I love a coffee. We've got my GoFundMe. If you want to buy me a coffee, you can do that. I had Sam and Sally bought me one last week. Thank you very much. It's nice to treat yourself sometimes, isn't it? So, And even nicer if someone else treats you, I think. There's something about that. We're also still fundraising. We've got another GoFundMe link um, because we'd like to get more live captioning and stage texts are available to do that, but we need more funds to continue to deliver more content um, with the live captioning. So if you would like to give to that, we will try and get the banner up shortly or at some point during the stream. And let's have a look who's next. We've got Leslie next, I think. So thanks for that, Liz. Great effort. Here is Leslie's work. Um, Jasmine, would you be able to read out the email from Leslie, please? Yeah. You caught me. I was in the middle of trying to find the link. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so Multitasking. Hi, Gabby. <laughs> I need his arms. So Leslie says, hi, Hannah. I use Ready Mix Children's Paint for this. The one on the left is the first print and then seeing that there was an imprint left on the glass, I took the one on the right. I didn't manage to get one without fingerprints in it though. My caption is based on Maslow's hierarchy of basic human needs, which I was reminded of when watching the workshop and about how many people are reliant on food banks. Best wishes to everyone, Leslie. Wow, that is brilliant. And I love a bit of psychology, me. So, um, if you guys are familiar with Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it's a big triangle. And then there's all the different things that you need to, for well-being generally, some of it is like shelter, some of it is food, you know, um, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, but it's a really good go-to thing. If you're feeling a bit down, if you're struggling with mental health, to actually look at it and be like, okay, have I got all these in place? And if I haven't, how can I try and get those things in place? So I'm really glad that you brought that up, Leslie. And I love the design. I'm amazed that you managed to do that with acrylic paint. That must have been resourceful. So brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And it also reminds me of a certain 
supermarket brand, their basics range. So there's quite a lot of double meanings to this, which I really, really love. Got lots and lots of people saying they really like this. Great images, lovely prints, wonderful work. We've got loads of people really praising these. So thank you, Leslie. Great effort. And we would love to see you again next week. Next up, we have Sally. Sally, the VIP cheerleader in the building. Here we go. Right. Jasmine, the magical fairy. <laughs> are, you, are you able to duplicate yourself? Because I need about six of you to do everything I ask Hello. you to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, you to read Sally's yes, bit? please. If you could read Sally's bit, that would be fab. Okay. Sally says, Dear Hannah, I think this is a work in progress. It seemed to be a choice of too much ink everywhere or invisible ink. I decided on a twisted can to represent how shocking it is that we even need food banks. The can is broken in two to represent it feels like we are living in two separate societies. The injustice of not having the ability and freedom to supply a fundamental need. Best wishes, Sally. Oh, that's brilliant. And it I don't know if you guys can actually see the detail of this, but there's some really powerful words that it's, it's very much like a protest art piece, I think. Um, I can't really get right close up, but the way that you've designed it, like proper logos, um, it's just brilliant. It's really well thought out, really well designed. And I'm glad I'm not the only one that struggled with getting the printing right. I mean, this looks perfect to me. So I don't know. It doesn't look like you struggled, Sally, but I do believe you. It's just wonderful. I'd really love to see these in real life one day. Maybe we could have like a, well, it's a bit difficult if we're all over the country, but it would be so nice to see what these actually look like or maybe have an exhibition or something, wouldn't it? It'd be brilliant. So thank you very much. Thank you for my coffee as well, Sally. That was a very nice treat. Nice surprise. And next up, we have Anna. So onwards to Anna's work, if that's okay. Um, Jasmine the Magical Fairy. Oh, we've got the GoFundMe link. Awesome. So this GoFundMe link, I think, is for the live captioning, which will make um, these live streams accessible for people who are deaf or hearing impaired. Um, it's just a really helpful thing to make sure that everyone can be fully included. We've got funding to do captioning for our pre-recorded stuff, but at present we've got limited funding for doing the live captioning. So if you would like to make this accessible to more people and you're able to just give a pound or two, that would really make a difference and we'd really appreciate that. So thank you. And now Jasmine, the magical fairy. I'm going to have to create a sign name for her, aren't I? Because well, like, is, Jas this is the Magical Anna Fairy is a long sign. And <laughs> um, this is Anna's art that we have up on the screen right now. Excellent. Do you want to read out the blurb? Oh, yeah, I'm on it. So Anna says, Hi, Hannah. I didn't have the time to do mono, trim, uh, mono printing, but the theme reminded me of some art assets I made for a video game whilst I was at uni. As a set, I kind of think they are a metaphor for birth, life, and death, but maybe that's a bit too deep. Hope you like it, Anna. Awesome. And I love the fact that, again, we've got a bit of digital art involved and people are using their specific skills to do little nuances and find something a little bit different and unique. So thank you very much. Anna is our editor of our wonderful Herbie the Elephant. Okay, now we're going to move on to Amanda or Mandy, new Mandy. Oh, you can eat. Oh, this is perfect, isn't it? Jasmine, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Hi, not a great effort from me as I was short on time. My message is one you see in a lot of places, all, all you can eat, which illustrates a huge amount of food some people have access to, while all others have is a can of something that they don't get to choose 
I've used the logo from one of the old roadside diners, Happy Eater, as I always thought it looked more like a symbol for being sick, which relates to the gluttony of the all you can eat idea. Yeah, that is that's really powerful, isn't it? I mean, I I mean I'm guilty myself of if you ever like well, if you're ever lucky enough to go on holiday for an all you can eat thing, just it's almost like this scarcity mentality comes into being where you're like, well, I've paid 10 pounds, therefore I must eat a ridiculous amount and we just gorge, don't we? So we're almost ill, which is not healthy for like anybody, is it really? Um and it even myself it's like this you know one extreme to the other because you know if your income is inconsistent one minute you're you know you're at the food bank and then I get a grant in and it's like okay let's go for an all-you-can-eat buffet and it's not a great way to live is it we need to sort of be a little bit more consistent and you know sharing is caring 100 percent so um Oliver has got the GoFundMe link to help deliver more captions which is up on the screen now Wonderful. And I just think that's really powerful. Again, Amanda says she didn't think that she was very good at this and she was short on time, but yours came out way better than mine. So good effort. And thank you, Sally, for what you said as well. I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> I think it's good that we can own up when things go wrong as well. You know, we're all human, aren't we? And nobody is perfect at everything. So onwards, we are moving on to Katie. I love Katie's emails because she's like, hi, Hannah and the magical fairies. It just has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? That's exactly what she said. She said, <laughs> hi, Hannah and the magical fairies. This is my comment on a can inspired by the Tower Street Print Project Workshop. I wanted to confront the viewer with both the problem and the solution in the same picture. The question is, what can I do? Reflects the feeling of powerlessness in the face of poverty and an actual can labelled can is intended as both a call to action. We can do something and the literal help we are able to give, i.e. donate to our local food banks. As you can see, some of my lettering didn't come out on the final print, a combination of too much ink and too thin lettering. I think I'm going to have another go for next week's share. Best wishes, Katie. Oh, well done, Katie. And Katie was actually the person who introduced us to Tower Street Print Project as well so she'd done a course with them and was singing their praises so thank you for connecting us because actually this whole this whole episode and tutorial wouldn't have come about without you so thank you for cheerleading us and other organizations it's brilliant okay now I can't believe it but I'm actually on time today I don't know what's going on I'm trying not to waffle as much, but there's so many wonderful things. Like, I'm super impressed. Charles has so many good ideas tonight. Absolutely. And we're looking forward to interviewing you soon, Charles. We're going to be talking to him about the topic of art and the environment. And yeah, I won't say too much. I'll keep it a surprise. Leave you hanging. <laughs> Somebody's noticed the happy eater. Yeah, I don't know if they even exist anymore, but they used to be like a really big brand, didn't they, back in the day? There's lots of iconic things going on. Well, we've come to the end of the evening and what a show. I am so impressed, so happy that so many of you guys have come on the live, that you've sent your work in. You've made such a great effort. So check out the tutorial that was released today at one o'clock. You can go and find that on YouTube. Basically, the challenge for next week is to do a, a little, little drawing of a safe space that's probably likely to be in your house. But just really enjoy it. Take time to just be mindful, not worry about what it looks like, but just to enjoy the time where you're just holding the pencil and you've got the paper and you've just got a kind of sense of peace. Get caught up in the flow and just see what happens. Just enjoy it. And we can't wait to see what you produce. So make sure you get pictures sent to us by Wednesday. And you are most welcome to come and join us on the live or to be a lurker and just watch from behind the scenes or to be a cheerleader. Everybody is welcome. Um, and we've just got a few more comments coming through, I've noticed. So this is very deep meaning, Katie. Maybe I will have another try too. Yeah. And if you guys want to give 
this another go, if you've got a bit more time during the week, we will quite happily show the previous week's work. So if you've made any any progress with this, we'd love to show it. Oh, fabulous. And Charles is joining us now. He's joined part of the creative crew. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Rachel, for doing the BSL today and to Stage Text for doing our live captioning. Please remember that we would really love it if, if you have anything you could donate towards the inclusive live captioning. That would be really helpful. Okay, have a wonderful week and check out the next tutorial. Bye for now.